wow, this is a bit of a different setup. <laughs> As promised, I'm going to be doing videos relating to my spiritual learning journey. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be session one and two of my journey. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Katie and welcome to my channel. Uh, my channel is starting to broaden its horizons. I mainly focus on my weight loss journey but then it is now starting to become a side which I really like to put out on my channel which is my witchy uh, journey which is has begun, it did start last year but it's become more prominent this year and I have joined a spiritual development group and I think I've said in previous videos I am going to do separate videos related to what I personally experience at these groups and yeah just in case anyone is interested so if you are interested in witchy spiritual that kind of thing then make sure you keep on watching to hear what I experienced at uh, my new spiritual development group so I'll go back to the beginning so I speak to my lovely friend Annie, who I consider as one of my best friends. She lives all the way, like, it's really annoying that she lives far away. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's really helped me get into becoming who I am, basically. I've always been interested in witching, witchy stuff, witchcraft, learning, spiritual divination that kind of thing but I've never had the confidence to fully put myself into it kind of thing so Annie has really helped bring that out bring that side out of me and I don't care when I bring it up to people if they just look at me like I'm a weirdo or whatever then sodom basically it's a really big interest of mine and I think my husband has even stopped taking the mick out of me basically about it and yeah so uh, a few months ago i saw a post on one of my local facebook pages of a lady putting out a post to see if there's anyone that is interested in a spiritual development group because there's really it's like virtually non-existent around here um, if you do find one they're pretty like underground they're not like well known so it's really difficult to find a group if you are interested in that find a group that you can join and learn from basically i've been speaking to a couple of the people last night at the group and one gentleman was saying that it's they used to go to a group in romsey which i think is absolutely ludicrous <laughs> so um yeah they're really hard to find around here i'm really really grateful that sally has got this group together and it's going really well um obviously i've only been to two sessions i think it is it start it's this is like the start of it so it's only had two sessions but yeah there's people of all ages all shapes and sizes i suppose um there's and even a lady there who i don't know where she comes from in the uk but um she's american and i got to work with her last night and she was really lovely and yeah like for people like me who are really relatively new it's nice that I've got a group that I can go to to speak to about like my interests and even learn from them so yeah it's really really amazing it really has opened my eyes to what I could learn and what I could become hopefully in the future <laughs> so yeah the lady who runs a group is called Sally um she does all sorts of things she mainly practices i think it's called shamanic or sh shamanism which is a type of healing um craft which um is really interesting and i want to 
learn a little bit more about that. So I'm going to purchase a book which is about sh shame. I think it's shamanism. <laughs> so hopefully I'm going to buy that soon. And yeah, she's really, really um, kind and caring. And obviously, like for me, I'm really, really new to this. So she was very patient and made sure I was right and not like scared off or frightened. <laughs> Um, which I wasn't, I was just, just things just blew my mind, yeah, it was just incredible, and yeah, it's just a really tight-knit community that I really already feel a part of, even though I've only been to two sessions, and yeah, I just really feel, I'm so great, like, grateful and glad that I went to the group, and I think I said in a previous vlog that I normally... If I go to like a group or a class or something like that, I always try and go with someone. But this is like the first time I think in ages that I have a genuine interest to learn something. And I have gone to something by myself because that is one of the things that sets my anxiety off is if I have to go somewhere by myself. And I did feel anxious when I first walked into that hall, not knowing literally anyone I got a lift from someone in the group so I basically got a lift with a stranger obviously it's all safe and everything and yeah from go going to literally going to a place where I know nobody and I'm a virtually a beginner in learning my craft and everything else now I feel I'm starting to settle in a bit so I don't feel as anxious I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah, so the f back going back to the first group, which was two weeks ago yesterday. <laughs> um, so I went to that one. Didn't literally didn't know what to expect. Um, the couple that I went with on the first session, they saw that Sally had drums and a hoop and things out and I literally didn't know what to expect I thought oh my god if I join the cult or something but I haven't <laughs> um it's literally all part of I think it's the sh shamanic shaman shamanism side of it all they do lots of drumming and things to do with vibrations and sound and things like that which I am intrigued to learn more about and yeah the first session there was a really big group of people and I met a handful of them yeah the first session had massive circle of people and I did feel a bit overwhelmed I thought oh my god all these people like experts <laughs> if you will and in the first session she got a, a talking stick out and you could only talk when you had the stick in your hand and it went round the circle and people said who they were and uh, what they're here for and what they're interested in and yeah it was really really interesting to see what kinds of people there were there was people that were beginners or new to it like me there was experienced people there was paranormal investigators there was mediums there was just all sorts of people and it was just really really interesting so yeah I, it, that was an eye opener just to see that there are people around that are interested in the same thing as you and like have gone beyond like have learned more and have like jobs in it kind of thing so yeah I really really enjoyed that so after that we sat in the dark and got into our like what do you say like your in a like power like you just um sit in the dark and get into like your zone kind of thing to tap into energies and things like that so i got to experience doing that for the first time and it really did help me because obviously with the chaos of home i could just like let go and feel like at ease I could feel like the busyness of my mind just going away <laughs> and yeah I really think I need to get into doing meditation and things like that because my mind is always seems to be on, on the go all the time 
which isn't great. <laughs> so we did that and then we did in the first session card reading practice which is what I'm interested in like the cards and the divination and things like that. So I, she said you literally just have to um, just sit um, with someone you don't know and obviously that was easy for me because I knew nobody <laughs> Um, and I sat firstly sat with a lady called Karim and she was really nice and I think she could tell that I was a bit anxious and nervous and what Sally did was bought her cards, she shuffled her cards, brought them round so everyone chose a card so you would choose a card and the card you choose would be the reading for your partner so yeah and it was like my first proper experience for reading a card, genuinely like saying what I saw kind of thing. And yeah, it was it was an experience because obviously I'm still I'm obviously I've been practicing, but I'm still fairly new to just doing it like just say. <laughs> so Corinne did her card for me first, so I kind of got the vibe of what we were doing and. Yeah, it was just, I, I'm going to say this probably multiple times in this video, but it was mind-blowing. Like, the card that she had chose, which is for me, really resonated with my life. It even went to, the card that she chose went to things like Adam's work. Like, it just really, really resonated with, like our home life and even resonated back to me like my like personal feelings in life so yeah it was just crazy and then when I turned over my card to see what it was obviously I had to say kind of say what I saw and Corinne did help me a little bit because obviously I was still a bit like not as confident so yeah, the card that I had chosen for Corinne also really resonated with what she was going through in her life at the moment. So, yeah, it was just crazy. Um, and then we had to uh, swap and go and sit with another person. So I went and sat with the lady who gave me a lift in and we did that. And she isn't as confident like me with the cards. So one of the ladies who is part of running the group came and sat with us and gave us a little help <laughs> so I felt a bit more at ease with what I was doing so the card I had chosen for the lady which is called Becky um, she I think I don't know if she's as open to cards but she said it kind of resonated with her because it was the things that I picked up it was about like her being guarded and closing herself off and things like that so yeah, she said it kind of resonated with her and how she's been feeling at the moment, which was good. And then she wasn't as confident with reading the card she chose for me. So the lady who had helped us, which is called Julie, um, said lots of different things about this card. And then she said she knew about like chakras and things like that. And she said that one of the colours in the chakra, one well, of the card, was orange and she said that can represent like the stomach area and yeah she said do you have any like stomach issues or anything like that and at the time I was waiting for my results for diabetes so I had actually said that to her and she's like oh well there you go it's gonna be something related to that then and yeah there was a few with that card it more represented personal stuff to me so that was ama like, amazing as well that things have been picked up on that card and then after we'd done that we went and sat in our big circle again oh, it's with my other leg now let's go to sleep <laughs> sorry about that I just had to quick reshuffle <laughs> so yeah so after we had done the card readings went back and sat in our circle and Sally brought out this hoop and she's like, we're going to do some healing with this hoop now. And I just looked at Becky, this lady I got a lift with. And was like, what the hell is going to go on? <laughs> so she explained about the healing hoop. And 
it's got four colours on the hoop, which represent four different, I think it's four points on the compass. And then there was four different types of, um, I think there was buffalo hair, feather, horse hair, and something else, which all represent different things. And she said, you, the, basically, the per, a person is going to come and sit in the middle of the circle, and four people are going to hold this hoop, one with a finger on top and one with a finger underneath, and they're just going to move with the hoop, and obviously it's going to uh, give this person healing. And whilst the people are doing that, everyone else in the circle on the outside has got drums or shakers or rattles and Sally leads the beat on what everyone's going to follow so yeah I had like like a shaky shake and rattle thing because obviously I don't want to do the drums or anything like that <laughs> so yeah so Sally led the beat and uh, the first lady Corinne she uh, went in and healed well got healing and it was just amazing like to watch like some people would be skeptical like oh they're just moving the hoop but they're not it's literally all to do with the energies and the vibrations and things like that and the spirits because the hall that we were in has like spiritual connections as well so yeah it was just amazing to watch and then a second lady went in and she took her shoes off so her feet were more grounded so she went in and had healing and again the hoop moved around up and down like tipping it would tip like this and go really low on the person and then really high and yeah it was just incredible but and she actually at the end was crying so i don't know what happened there but um <clears throat> it must have been quite emotional for her and then I'm, I genuinely put my hand up to say I want to go in and then she's like we've got like we can do it one more time and then we've got to finish so like, she's like I don't mean to stare but I think you need to go in the in the, the healing hoop and I was like okay so I sat in there and she says you've got to get into your own power in in the while she sat down and then obviously they'll do the hoop so it was Sally and three other ladies that held the hoop for my healing and it was Corinne who did the first um, had the first healing and Becky who gave me a lift to the group and I can't remember the other lady um, but yeah there was another lady and then Sally was holding the hoop for mine so obviously I'm sat in my own power my eyes shut and I can hear the drums and I can hear them like moving around me and things like that and yeah it was just an amazing experience because obviously you can hear that you can feel well I could feel like the vibrations and the drums like beating and then in when I'm my eyes closed I could see like different colours and I could also feel the drum sound like fading away and I could hear like an oboe sound and I asked Sally about it and she said it can be because of like I think it's to do with like the Native Americans and things like that and that side of it you you might hear different sounds and things so yeah I heard that and I was kind of brought back to the room because I heard one of the people that was holding the hoop which I found out to be Corinne was laughing because after I spoke to her afterwards, she told she and Becky, the lady who gave me a lift, told me from the off the hoop was moving. As soon as they started beating that drum, the hoop was moving round. And um, she said, Corinne, the lady Corinne, who I feel like I've got a good connection with already, and she said to me, "Yeah, at one point we were running around you with the hoop." I thought what <laughs> this is crazy so yeah she said it was moving from the off and moving it kept going really fast and really slow and yeah it must have been amazing for the others to watch um but i did feel like a weight had been lifted after 
I've like finished. So yeah. But I don't afraid another crazy thing that happened was I went and sat down back in my seat, ready for the end, and there was a lady opposite, I can't remember what her name was, but um she said to me, Have you got issues with your left leg? And I thought, Yeah. Yeah, I've had some issues recently. And she said, all the way throughout your healing, I was getting a pain in my left leg. And I thought, what the hell? <laughs> she said, like, yeah, I was getting like a burning pain in like my left knee, like below the left, my, my left knee. And I thought, what the hell? How, sh- this, this, people can't fake this kind of stuff. So it, honestly, again, it just like blew my mind that things like this happen. And Sally also said, because obviously the energy was getting stronger and stronger, like things like that could happen. And Becky, the lady I got a lift with, said also while we while she was holding a hoop, she could hear like children laughing as well. So that could have been spirits. So yeah, honestly, it was just I said to like most of the people there that my mind was just blown that night. <laughs> Absolutely just crazy so yeah and then after that we obviously sat back in our power and let the energy out so back into the universe kind of thing and yeah it was an art such an eye-opener like i'm so glad i went i told adam about it and he's a skeptic like yeah yeah and i said yeah but this lady had a feeling a pain in her leg in a left leg where i've had pain in my left leg no one can fake that kind of stuff and they don't even know me so they wouldn't have even known I've had issues with my legs so yeah and obviously with the cards the saying about the stomach situation (laughs) um I was just absolutely amazed and then so that was session one so that was session one and then it's every two weeks the session so I had the session two last night Unfortunately, there wasn't as many people this time because people had lift issues or child issue, childcare issues or were ill. So there wasn't as many of us there last night. It was amazing no, no, nonetheless. So including Sally, there were seven of us last night. It was a new moon and we did some healing. And obviously I've never done anything like this before. So... I was a bit like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> so, yeah, we obviously started off as usual, sit, get, getting into our power kind of thing. And then we got into pairs. And I was paired with a lovely lady called Ashley, who is the American lady I was talking about earlier. I was paired with her because she's one of the more experienced healers. So, And, yeah, it was just a case of doing healing so I sat down in a chair and got into my own space and she did healing and obviously she'd asked before if she didn't mind touching you like on your shoulders or your head or whatever so yeah I said yeah I don't mind go for it (laughs) I didn't know what to expect so we did that in pairs and then it was time to switch and well, before we switched, Sally asked me what I felt in that uh, like situation. So I told her I saw lots of greens and blues and purples, and I could feel that Ashley was healing me on one side, like touching me on one side. But I said to her, I could feel like either an energy or something touching my right knee as well. So Sally said, obviously that's just. Um, because obviously the energy was getting so strong Ashley's energy would just be like all around you so she, it might have been over that side while Ashley was on one side kind of thing so yeah um very different and amazing like I did feel like again like weight had been lifted and yeah so then we had to switch and I had to do it so it was my first time doing the healing and Sally could tell I was nervous but I just focused on Ashley and obviously did what I needed to ask if I could obviously touch touch her and stuff like that and yeah 
Ashley said afterwards that she felt when I went back to her neck and her shoulder area, she could feel like a gentle heat, which was nice. And she said she saw, because she, um, obviously she had her eyes closed as well, she saw like her mother and like other spiritual things, like just obviously in her mind's eye. And yeah, she said it was really, really nice. And then after that, they got some tables out and I thought, oh my God, what is going on? So me and another lady got to lie on these two tables, like lie down. So <laughs> I thought, oh my God, I'm going to collapse on this table. And it was just more healing. So it was me and Ashley and another lady called Julie on one table. So Ashley and Julie were doing the healing on me, led down on the table. <clears throat> and then the other two were doing healing on the other lady. So that again, I felt lots of different sen like sensations and saw different things. And I forgot to say something last night with what I felt, but um, I might message Sally, Sally and ask her about it later. Uh, Ashley and Julie were doing healing wherever they felt I needed it so I think Ashley was more at the top end so my head and my shoulders and that and Julie I think was down the other end yeah and she went more at the start she was like more, more around like my stomach area and I thought could that be related to like obviously what I'm going through weight loss wise again the colours I saw were purple and green like swirls and I forgot to say last night when I think it was Judy was on like putting her hands on my stomach I could feel like a beating like a boom 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 like coming from her hands and I forgot to say that last night I wish I did but I was just like just so overwhelmed and just again my mind was blown kind of thing <laughs> um and then I think she went down to my feet because I could feel her touch my feet and I could feel heat coming from that, like her hands. My boots felt like really warm. So I said that last night and then I think Ashley, who was at the top end, had like her hands were quite cool and it was like a nice cooling feeling. And that was that. And then I think Sally came over and did some like shamanic healing as well because I could hear her. She came and touched my head like this and I could feel her move my head like this and I just went with it and I could hear her saying some sort of spell and then she like I don't know if she blew something on me but she like went and yeah um so she did that I'll see again that's when I saw more of the greens and purples and a bit of blue and yeah that was that yeah, they're both the experiences that I've had so far at these sessions. And yeah, I've, I'm really enjoying it. And it's really helping me learn and grow as a person as well. Not just in like the witchy side, but as like a general person. So yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. And I can't wait to learn and go to some more groups. <laughs> that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. This is quite different for me and my channel. But as I said, I want to put it out there just in case anyone is interested in the experiences that I've had at this spiritual development group. Because I know they're not like not many people know about them or can't find them. Therefore, people might be interested in what people experience at these groups. So yeah. And also in my little witch corner, I thought I'd put a little candle on <laughs> to set the mood. And yeah, again, it's I feel like, not like a weight, but I feel better that I've been able to share my experience about what, uh, what I've learned and what I've physically experienced at this group. I'll continue this uh, little, well it's not going to be little, hopefully it'll be ongoing. But I'm going to continue doing these kind of videos every time I've gone to a group. So it'll be every two weeks. But obviously I've been to two now. So I have to combine them both. 
so yeah session three is the 16th of march so yeah really excited and i hope more people can make it next time fingers crossed so yeah take care stay safe and blessed be bye